coming up for all you food rangers out there, we're going deep for street food in Hanoi. Finding snails, street stools and spring rolls, fried shrimp cakes, street food bar style rolled rice noodles, and more. Here we go. Check it out, it's Trevor James. We're in Hanoi, Vietnam. They were going for a big day of eating street food. Let's check it out. The Hanoi street food scene will blow you away. As soon as you walk out on the street in the morning, you'll find street food everywhere. And with so many different street foods to try, you'll never run out of things to eat. And since we flew to Vietnam just to eat, you can discover along with us just how diverse and amazingly delicious the street food in Vietnam is. So make sure to watch all the way until the end, because you won't believe just how many different types of street food there are that you're going to surely want to fly here for. Let's eat! It's almost like every few meters there's new street food to try. So that's what we're going to do today, is just go around and try a bunch of different stuff on the street. First up, we found a lady selling bun o. A famous light and fragrant escargot rice noodle soup infused with the most elegant tomato flavor. You can see this dish all over the streets of Hanoi. And when you try it the first time, you'll definitely fall in love with the elegant freshness. Ciao, ciao, em. Mut bò. Bun, bun nọ. Mut bò. Mut bò. Mut bát, bun nọ. Ah. Bun nọ. Bun nọ. Ah. Oh, there's the rice noodles. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, bun, 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 ah, uh, bun, bun, up, 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 bun, up, 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 up. Okay, getting the language lesson here on the street. That's perfect. Oh, and she's putting some. MSG, a little salt. Those must be the snails. Oh yeah. Ngon. Oh, that smells awesome. Cam un em. Nice. Cam un. Look at this. Right, bright and early. Wow. Look at this, guys. Look at all those huge, plump snails. Tomato, cilantro, green onions, and the tomato aroma just is, is, is very, very strong. I'm just gonna put some Vietnamese herbs on there. There's mint, oh, there's basil, lots of herbs, lots of herbs. Oh yeah. And then that smell is, it smells so fresh. Mmm. Oh. Wow, like, it tastes like pasta almost, with, with the aroma of the snails in there. Whoa, and the herbs. It is so fresh with that beautiful mint and cilantro. Oh, and basil flavor all throughout. Next up, just a couple of steps down the road, we found another famous Vietnamese street food on offer, bun dao, a plate of delicious fried spring rolls tofu, and fish cakes with rice noodles and herbs that you can all dip into a fish sauce or a fermented shrimp paste. Another amazing street food. So today we are going to try a ton of different street food. Bun dao. Bun dao. Mut. Mut bun dao. So we've had this the other day. Oh, look how little this stool is here. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and you can see she's frying up some spring rolls and tofu, and they give you a strong fish paste, fish sauce. Oh yeah, some pepper. Okay, chili. So we were just walking and we found this uh, bundao on the street. Yeah, you can see she's pulling out the vermicelli there. And, um, and you dip it in. You dip it into 
a fish sauce or a fermented shrimp paste sauce. Ah, come on, come on, M. <laughs> ah, come on. And then you see she gives a fish sauce and some herbs. Mm, come on, try it out. Oh yeah, look at that spring roll. Awesome. You can see it's full of full of rice noodles. Looks like there's some pork and mushroom. Maybe some onion in there. Oh yeah. And we're just gonna dip it right in. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, the mushroom flavor is very strong. In this, it's actually, I think this is more of a garlic, a spicy, sweet garlic sauce. What I love so much is all of the herbs that they give you. And you can just, you can just dip them in to this sauce, this sweet, spicy garlic sauce. And that just completely balances the slightly oily spring rolls and tofu. Next up, just another couple steps down the road, we went to try a dish that's famous in Hanoi and something definitely worth flying here for. Ban Guan rice noodle rolls. Served to you on the street, bar style. I think this is uh, Ban Guan rice noodle rolls. Hello. Ban Kuan. Ban Kuan. Mut Ban Kuan. Ban Ban Kuan. Ban Kuan Nam. Oh. 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 Okay, so we're gonna get the Ban Kuan. Ngon. Not Hanoi. Oh. So that's the dip. Oh, it has garlic water. Oh, fried caramelized scallions. Pepper. Oh, and chili. Ah. Kamun M. You see, she's putting that rice flour. Oh. King Mai. King Mai. Yeah, she's putting the rice flour, spreading it out, and then she's gonna put this pork mushroom mix on top. Oh yeah, here it is. Ah. Oh, there it is. Ban Kwan. Come on. Nice. So it's just like a, a street food Rice noodle roll bar. Mmm, fresh cilantro. It's awesome. Uh, oh, the fried scallions. That is bringing it flavor, you can tell. Mmm, okay. I want to get a nice big bite with lots of cilantro. Oh, lots of that fried scallion mix. And she just stuffed it with a pork mushroom mix. Mmm. Got it, got it, Oh, come on. And this is um, fish sauce, sweet garlic. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. Ho. Number one. Number one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> oh, and she's just putting more and more on here. Awesome. Oh, yeah, just stacking it up. There is a lot of flavor in that filling. Especially when it's covered in the scallions. And when you dip it in this slightly spicy, slightly sweet, garlicky sauce with all those fried scallions and chilies inside. Oh. Uh, That's awesome. It's a true street food mecca here in Hanoi. Food everywhere. Look at this little alley here. We're gonna see what we can find. Oh, what's this? Chow M. Look at this. This looks like a a shrimp cake. Oh. Ah. Ah. Mut. Awesome. 
Awesome, look at this. I think that that is a tapioca starch that she's making it. That she's making it with. And then they just get fried over here. Nice. Chatom. 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 So I think what it is is a tapioca starch with slices of sweet potato and shrimp deep fried. Oh, it looks great. Kamun M. Mantom. Mmm. Kamun M. <laughs> okay, so we've got this tapioca starch. <laughs> I think I said something funny. <laughs> oh, with this, oh, with these fresh herbs. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. The chili. Oh, come on. Nice. Let's try it out. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, it just tastes like a fried batter mm, in a sweet, spicy sauce. Mm. We got a couple more big meals coming up, and Hanoi has been so amazing. The food is incredible way better than I expected. So fresh, so complex, yet so simple at the same time. It's mind-blowing. But right up here, I think there's a famous escargot place cooked in lemongrass. Uh, Just sitting on the street. It's gonna be good. What we stumbled into was a true delicacy. Locals love these snails cooked in lemongrass, and watching them being made on the street is half the delight. The snails are cooked in ginger, lemongrass, and kaffir lime leaves, and served with a heavenly dip made of fish sauce, chili, lime leaves, garlic, and lemongrass. It's completely amazing. Look at those big, juicy escargot, and you can smell, you can really smell the lemongrass. It's potent. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Got one, wow. The lime and the dip, wow. So the escargot, he just helped me pull it out. And the aroma coming from this is insane. Oh, oh, wow. That is, that is incredibly delicious. The aroma of the lemongrass is infused into these steaming, painfully hot escargot. Oh yeah, look at that. There it is. Escargot cooked in lemongrass with all of these accompaniments. I think this is kaffir lime leaf and shallot, ginger and chili, and the nuoc cham Vietnamese dipping sauce, which is fish sauce, garlic, ginger, a little sugar, I believe, chili and lemongrass which which is just the flavor is steaming off of these escargot mm. wow that is the most aromatic and flavorful sauce you could actually just drink that sauce it is so enjoyable the lemongrass the kaffir lime the ginger the chili the fish sauce a little bit of sweetness in there, all in this amazing, amazing escargot. That flavor will blow your mind. Yes, it is really delicious. Okay, let's see. <laughs>
good, right? It's because they're soft. They have a ginger. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. You having a good day, Ting? Yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Good food in Hanoi, right? Yeah. Awesome food. After finishing up those delicious escargot, we made our way for our pre-dinner snack of pho quan. Classic Vietnamese spring rolls on the street side, all made by hand, one by one, with beef, mint, cilantro, and basil. To die for. I really want to have some authentic pho quan, Vietnamese beef spring rolls. And I think there's a place right up here. Oh yeah, here we go. Awesome. The the Fagwan, mut mut Fagwan. They're making the the spring rolls one by one. Wow. Fagwan. Fagwan. Look at those. <laughs> nice. So the beef, I think the beef is marinated in in lemongrass. I can, I, I think I can smell that a little bit. And then they're stuffing it with herbs, cilantro, oh, basil. It looks like um, Vietnamese mint in there as well. Common herbs that we're seeing everywhere in almost all the dishes we're having. Wow. This looks so good. It's like the it's like the spring roll hot spot here. That huge bowl of beef, all those herbs, one by one with those rice paper rolls. Oh, they look soft and tender. <laughs> Agwin just came. Look at this big mound of Vietnamese spring rolls. Oh yeah. Look at that. And it comes with that dipping sauce that we're having all over the place here. It's like a sweet fish sauce with, I think that is um, green papaya, as usual. Oh yeah, look at this. And these nicely wrapped faguen. I have never had this before. So this is gonna be my first experience. I can't wait to try it out. Oh, look at that, dip it in. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. Wow! Oh, the beef is... Mmm! The beef... Oh yeah, the beef has a lot of flavor. It is really simple. With those herbs... Oh yeah. Dipping it in the sauce there. Mmm! Wow! For our final meal of the night, and something you must experience, we visited one of the thousands of family-run street stalls in Hanoi. To me, the best part about eating in new places is without a doubt chatting with the local people. And even with a language barrier, smiling is the best way. You'll discover that most people are just like you and me, friendly. You gotta be careful crossing the street, but the secret is to just keep at the same pace. You don't wanna stop or change your speed because that's how you get hit. Oh yeah, right here. Chào anh. Pho chốt. Pho chốt. Pho chốt. Bún thơm. Mút pho chốt. Một pho chốt. Wow. Bún thơm. Biết rồi. Mút pho chốt. Ok. This is like the street food bar. Look at this. Oh yeah, pho chop. Pho chop. Oh, you can get a ton of different dishes here. Bun thang. Different noodles, different rice noodle dishes, but I've ordered the, the dry version because I am a fiend for dry style noodles. 
Oh yeah, herbs, always herbs. Oh yeah, that is fresh. Chicken, bean sprouts, cilantro, herbs, mint, fish sauce. Oh, some little soy. There might be some garlic water. Oh, and the scallions. The fried scallions. And then a little broth. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be delightful. Ton of herbs, cilantro and mint. Gamun M. Oh yeah, look at this. This is gonna be superb. Lots of fresh chicken, rice noodles, bean sprouts, mint, cilantro. Mmm. Oh yeah. And it's in a light seasoning of soy sauce, broth, mmm, and the flavor is gonna be enhanced from all of those scallions. Let's try that out. Oh, wow. Ngon. Very good. Very good. Very delicious. That is really good. Wow. The flavor from the fried scallions really brings it up a notch. All those herbs seasoned with light soy sauce and broth, a little bit of pepper, and you can also add chili and lime. Wow! To me, ganban, as they say in China, or dry style noodles like this, pack the most flavor. Because instead of it being diluted in a soup, it's all there in the bite. All those herbs, lightly seasoned. Mmm, you cannot get this in Canada. Not this good. It's so good here. Wow! <laughs> Mind blown. You have a good day, Ting? Yeah, it's a really good day. It's been an awesome time in Hanoi. Yep. We barely scratched the surface, but the food has been mind blowing and my expectations were surpassed. It has been so good. Yeah, you tried lots of food though. Lots of good food. So please let us know what you thought in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching.